Hold on, look at all the trolls in I your chat. Care. Look at the fucking care. losers that, that hang out in your that. chat. You Layla difference? Townsend, here's a dumb bitch. Wait until that. Sports Gematria gets that. a hold of this one. Who's that. even leaving comments like this? Who watches that, that fucking loser? That. Inbred that. loser whose life is to that. troll me. I, I heard you saying that you are the best, that everybody should be kissing your ass, you could wipe your ass with no sadamas. Just what shut the fuck up, Will. Nobody what, cares what about you? your midget ass. So here's the facts, you guys. Here's my cell phone. I don't know how long it shows up. You moved your whole life for Big Pharma, bitch. You're, yeah, that's right, why you're losing it. all your stuff. That's why you can't predict shit anymore, because everybody knows you're a fraud Will, and you're racist. Will, I didn't keep muting me, but not these other sorry-ass fucking faggots on your stream wow, yet, right? Yeah. Will, can you, Will, can you turn your camera off? No, I'd rather not look at your ugly you're fucking mug. God <laughs> damn, talk about no pussy. That's why you <laughs> fuck guys, because no women want to do with the little Oh my god. Oh my god. She picked the lions because of the Pope's birthday. I'm Zachary K. Hubbard. I I get every pick right all of the time. I've never been wrong about anything. Welcome back, True Seeker. And you fell back from it this year. You didn't go. Why? I don't know. For the love. I, of the I've money. explained why wait, I didn't go. For the love support of support fell is way the way off. Wait. For the love of money is the roots of all kinds of evil. That's all I'm saying. Aren't you, you the one driving around in luxury cars? You should. Why Why are you pocket watching? Should have kept pressing. Are you the one who has what? like eight different luxury cars? I don't have any luxury cars. What are you talking about? I, if I sell cars, they ain't mine, obviously. I mean, think about it. Are you okay? Are you, so what are you, you saying? Cars Why that are you, you own at a dealership and that you drive you're, occasionally? Okay, wait, Zach, you're pocket watching. This is what you claim. I'm not pocket are watching. You, you hold on. You Why just accuse me. You Why just accuse me of being it? about money and materialism, which no, is false. No, I just said. Is it though? I just said a quote. But what I'm telling you is, you bitched and complained why you couldn't go because of funding. And you know, I want to move on from that. And you know, I'll still check your shit out. I still look at the tr hold on. Look at all the trolls in I your chat. Care. Look at the fucking care. losers that, that hang out in your that. chat. You Layla Townsend, here's a dumb bitch. Oh! Wait until that. Sports Gematria gets that. a hold of this one. Who's that. even leaving comments like this? Who watches that, that fucking loser? That. Inbred that. loser whose life is to troll me. These he's just, you know, he's just talking shit. See, these are the people Zach. in your network. The only They're people who are here network. that you know about you, Zach. outside of who found you through me, are trolls. Zach. That seems like that's all you got in your Zach. back pocket. Trolls, you, instigators, let's, liars, frauds, let's, people like, let's, it's let's wise, say. wake up. You I want, mean, who, who, do you, who do you have here? Real? Yeah, Zach. keep it real. Keep you don't know real. how to keep it real. I keep it listen. real. Right. Zach. Where's your black all nail polished listen. boyfriend who's talking shit online, listen. but then won't respond listen. to an actual phone call listen, when I reach Zach. out to him directly? You know when I, Zach, you know when I got trolls? And Where's your that? boyfriend at? Huh? I talk shit. Hold on. You know when I got trolls and all this energy? Yeah. is when I started dealing with you. Before that, I didn't huh? have none of this. I didn't yeah, have you know no why? Trolls. Because I'm actually doing something in the world that's a threat to the establishment. Debatable. Mm, mm, that. Yeah, the fact that you don't know the answer to that just shows you what a fraud you are. No, I, and okay. thanks for also just talking more bullshit by saying nothing, just proving my all point. Alright, okay. Yeah. Alright, okay. okay. Alright, Zach. Look, he can't set aside his emotions and think logically and come to an understanding like yeah he said picking at every he said you know, he said rosters he said because you got dreads he said rosters want their hair back look how look how petty he going on you bro it's, a, it's emotional man it's, it's really Damn, emotional. Kid. This dude, it's this all dude emotion, yo. I, I didn't call him nothing i just said zach hasn't accomplished anything he's over here bragging like he's a, he's done some good things the only thing he ever was able to do was bring a bunch of people to a couple locations and he fucked that all up. Now all those people hate him. Indeed, indeed. Well, he can't go out to the street. So if he never accomplished anything, he never accomplished anything. Yeah, fair, fair words, fair words. It's because if he was really nice at predicting sports things, he wouldn't, he wouldn't have a Patreon. If, if you're really that good at betting sports and you know everything and everyone should be kissing your ass, well, then just fucking bet on your own fucking picks. It's like, okay, moron. Uh, should I just do everything? Should I just do everything? Should I do all the work, all the decodes, pay, make all the sports bets, just do everything myself? And and then what? what? What's the motivation to help out humanity? He wouldn't even be on the internet if mm. he put out his picks and they hit all the time. Like, that's yeah, exactly. Uh, Zach but, was like, this is my picks for the week. Yeah. You know, this would separate him above. Then he could come on and talk that shit. Like, yeah. you should be kissing my ass, kissing my feet. Yeah. Look what I've done. Tell me a list of words that you think Zach would use if you allow him back on the stream. Listen to these fucking faggots. All of my haters are fucking dick-sucking faggots. Get Tell me 
a list of words that you think Zach would use if you allow him back on the stream. You're a sorry ass motherfucker. Too. Loser. Let's just be honest about my trolls and critics. These guys are fucking losers. Moron. Moron. I'm the best. <laughs> you guys are shit. I do the, I do the best work. Uh, New York, <laughs> Oklahoma, right? It's the thing, like, you know, like, we could have this conversation with Zach if he had a certain composure. I don't know if it's ego, if it's, like, he thinks he's better than us. I mean, he just says, you know, you know, Will is a fucking loser who lives at his own. They're a loser. See, they got the word loser. Yeah, but it's like, it's like, <laughs> that doesn't mean you're a loser. Like, like, this is, this is what's wrong with society and people as a whole. And especially. I don't even live with my mom. I know, but I'm just saying this is what he believes and thinks. But for him to say that, I mean, what does that say about you? Like, you're willing to demean other people for what, what reason? Y'all can talk. I mean, this is what the people want, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we all here. I'll tell you what, too. I, if I'm going to be extremely calm and only ask questions. But you better know those probabilities. You better know those probabilities. Let's use our, let's use our, 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 our signal. We I know what to expect, but let's see if the outcome is different. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. All right, Zach, welcome to the stream. Very calmly. I, I heard you saying that you are the best, that everybody should be kissing your ass. You could wipe your ass with no Sadamas. Just what shut have the you fuck up, Will. Nobody what, cares what about your you... midget ass. So here's the fact, you guys. Here's my cell phone. I don't know how long it shows up. But you can see the last three text messages are me asking, Will, when are we debating? Let's get to the present moment. Zach, what, what, are the, what are the top three things that you've accomplished? In the entire decade I've been here, I've been accurately forecasting. Now, Debatable. Now, Will, for you to be talking shit about my sports resume, my sports resume is awesome. I, is it, though? I am having my worst season. The reason that things have gotten ha harder and more recent... Why are you shaking your head no? Because this is bullshit. Do you think that the um, thousands, tens of thousands of hours that you've devoted your life to in sports has been the most effective at waking people up? I mean, uh, I I've woken up tens of thousands of people, if not millions of people in this world, Will. I Ego! I don't yeah. know that anybody even knows who you are. I, Will, I've ne I've never, Will, I've never Will, just stop. Has oh, USA no. Today I'm tried not... to take out a, a hit piece on yeah. you to attack you for what you're doing? Yeah, as a matter of fact, Zach, I've had international news write about me on several occasions. I've Here, had what, what, how can I search it? What, what, shut, tell me an article. <laughs> I can find my articles. Let's find the article on you. Sure, go ahead. I mean, there's multiple. There's there's one when I confronted Kamala Harris in Providence. There's there's two sets of articles, and I made Fox News both times, and international news when I confronted Joe Biden both times. Um, okay, I, I, here, sh show me that later in the stream. So. Sure, I mean, look at my Kamala Harris video. It's got a million views. Going up I, to I, Kamala Harris and, uh, and, and harassing her in public, what does that do for the world? Her, uh, going up to the people that are running your life as opposed to talking to sports is more effective. Yeah, fair, fair words. Fair words. This is the whole point we're trying to make, Zach. We all are playing a role. Why are we at each other's throat? Uh, uh, yeah, again, just... again, you, you started an attack against me. Bullshit. People who use I, I, I all the time act exactly the way you're acting, Zach. Everybody should bow to uh, you. Again, yeah. The real problem, Zach, is your racist comment. Your okay, racist what, comment. what have I done that's racist? You... This is what your boy Jumanji Effect said. When I had this lying monkey, he's talking about RFG Chosen One, a black guy. When I had this lying monkey on my radio show, I tried to be nice to him. That was my mistake. I should have exposed him for the circus creature he is. Just a, just a dumb, lying idiot, period. You're okay, what, what have I that's done that's racist? You... Willie D, Major Shill. You know, if you're subscribed to this guy, tell him to... Tell him however you want to put it, but this guy's a motherfucking coon. You've seen the people that come out for me. It's a very diverse group, so how am I racist? And I've seen a number of those people in that diverse group that were diverse leave after, after what you said. You've called... Such as? Give me an example. Okay, there's video of you calling Jewish people the K-word. Dick-sucking, lying, kike, faggot. Calling homosexuals the F-word. Dick-sucking, faggots. Then you wonder why black people are called monkeys. You That's why what? you're losing subscribers and supporters, is because people are finally figuring out. That's why you're coming on here to do damage control. People realize that nobody's even on here on watching you guys. Racist. I'm on here to talk to, to you guys. Nobody CIA watches these messenger. channels or you guys. You are, no, no, I just want to know why Zach thinks it's okay to say 
to call to call, to use uh, Jewish slurs, homophobic slurs, and African American. Uh, I, I know a long time ago I explained where where the the, the, the K word comes from. About the, do you know where it comes from? It doesn't make a difference where that whatever word comes from. Well, I know so, I did a video on where the word comes from. I don't know if that's where the sound clips from. Hey, why? I mean, why? you're, you're, you're why? watching why? trolls why? and cut up my videos and, and put them into collages and, and misinterpret hey, the message. Yep. No, that's absolutely not the case. Hey, why? If I if yep. I explain to you where the N word came from right now, would it be okay if I said it to you with the hard R? Just because I explained it where it's from? No, that doesn't. Just because you explain where something's from doesn't call you. Say you can say, "Oh, no wonder why black people are all monkeys. No wonder you're uh, this and that." You, oh, yeah. okay. I explained the history of rape to yeah, right, the Matrix. So now I can rape him. That's the dumbest bullshit I ever heard. That's your best excuse for being a racist. You're a sorry piece of shit, and you're saying, "Oh, I'm tiny, bitch. I'm bigger than you." Well, you're a little guy. You're also a yeah, little bit. I, I bought you lunch. You. And you didn't even say thank you. That's what I know about you. Bon appetit. <laughs> Do you remember, do you remember the channel RFG Chosen One? Like, I, I helped him out, and I gave him credit, and then all he did was attack back and start saying a whole bunch of racist shit. And then I, I just let it go on forever, and then a, a, one day I said, like, this kid's nothing but a stupid monkey. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that, but then a lot of people wow. really attacked me for making that comment. So you, you, you admit that you called a black person a stupid monkey? Yeah, because he made about 20 videos attacking me based on race, and I- Excuses. I finally responded back, and I just said I shouldn't have said that, but nobody oh cared that God, he was attacking me racially for no reason. Are you serious, bro? That's, the, yeah, bro? See, that's the point, man. Wow. Like, we can't, we can't stoop to that level, right? Like, I mean... Wow, that, that, you just admitted you're a fucking racist that said racist shit. You're a fucking retard, oh, bro. I'm you're changing the, the subject from a racist. Hold on, I'm Because I'm not a racist, Will. I just explained the situation about how that happened. You call black people... I want to answer the... I want to answer... Don't I didn't say that I called black don't people monkeys. I said I called one person who was trolling me hey. up and down. I referred back to him that way. Excuses all day. You moved your whole life for Big Pharma, bitch. You moved huh? your whole life for Big Pharma. You moved, How's that? You uprooted. You, how? Because Sweet Lady works for the fucking Big Pharma man. And you so said, you hey, mean we're going to lady. drugs to people. Yeah, you, 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 you moved your whole life for Big Pharma, bitch. I can't make enough money off my own sports bets because I suck. So I'm gonna be a bitch of big pharma, and I'm gonna move my race. Will, fast Will, have you ever girl. dedicated five years man. of your life? You're have, you ever, have you ever you're dedicated you five years of your life money. to just teaching you're knowledge and not making you're any money? Man. And then your your excuse is always like, "Well, I did this. I did this knowledge for free every day for five years without getting any money." Well, I've been on here for ten years, you know, without getting any money. Do you want a cookie? I mean, seriously. Like the day, Zach. Zach, this is. Let this be a reflection of the energy you bring. Because this no, is what it, you bring. I don't let it be that. Again, some people cannot handle criticism. We knew what we were going to get into before Zach even came in the room. We already knew that. I mean, I, you know, the probability was already calculated. But what the problem <laughs> is, he can't pull whatever he's trying to do on people like us. We see right through it. And now, I what, what do you see through? Here, here, hold on. Oh, hey. I'll show you he's what I see deflecting, through. He's deflecting every... That's not even the most alarming one. The alarming, most alarming one where we're sticking about talking about this black thing is when he yeah. said, this was on the tip of my tongue. It's always on the tip yeah, of my yeah, tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got to admit, man, all of us have a racist side in us. Man, when I get an ignorant black person that goes off on me, I'll tell you what, there must be something in my programming too because I am always on the verge of that word. I didn't call it the N word, but I'm telling you, man, it was, it was on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, it's right. Cold. You're, yeah, that's right. why you're Watch this. all your stuff. That's why you can't predict shit anymore because everybody knows you're a fraud well, and you're racist. Well, I've been predicting a, I, I've been predicting a lot. Sure, Dan. According to your own words, everyone's leaving because people are figuring out who you are because your prediction sucks and you're a racist who literally moved let me, your life. You let, me well, let, me, let, me, let me ace this cat. Let me checkmate this cat real quick. Let me checkmate this cat. Let me. What I'm saying is that when somebody makes you mad, from what I heard was that you called them a monkey. Yeah, after ignoring trolling for a long okay. time, after so all I'm I did was to promote them who, and give uh, them a platform. Uh, uh, again, you're just making excuses. Yeah, uh, again, it's so that, typical that, that, to hide behind the whole skin color thing. Hilly D is probably one of these black men that would bitch if he heard a white person use the word nigga. No, that's just for my people, you know? That's bullshit. One of your biggest criticisms of me is that you say there has to be violence. So if you really believe in a violent revolution, why are you teaching Gamachi and not forming a militia? Yeah, fair, fair words. Fair words. 
Well, first you have to wake people up to what's going on and who needs to be wait, stopped. Wait, 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 wait. You just told me you just told me you have millions of followers. So I, that's I never said of, I have millions you know, of followers. Yeah, I said you woke up you said you woke up millions said, of people. I said I probably said, helped wake up millions of people. That's what I okay, said. Okay, so if you if, if you help wake up millions of people, that is one of the largest armies of all time. So what are you waiting for? Yeah, you can go take the White House tomorrow. Well, uh, uh, again, there's not uh, millions uh, of people uh, here uh, at a time, uh, uh, huh? I, again, my channel's been deleted 20 some times. All the growth and in, in progress and momentum has been stopped countless okay, times. So, okay. Excuses. So if it has to be resolved by violence, you should at the bare minimum be right. teaching people how so to use violence. You know why we know it has two, to be resolved two by two violence? Two because the three. founders told us. No, 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 you're not answering the question. If you know it has to be resolved by violence, like you just said, admit it right now, why aren't you training people for that? Just got owned. You just got no, owned. I didn't just get owned. He's thinking. He's thinking. I just said we have to wake up enough people, people and, and show people what's hey, going on. We're not hey, there yet. So you, you're not going to teach people how to use weapons and to move in formation and, and all these other things, even though you say violence is the biggest thing. That shows you're a hypocrite. That shows you're about the money and you don't care. So if you, we can't win without violence, why are you doing gematria? But, but to keep it your fair, arguments are illogical. No, it's not illogical. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, hold on. You just got owned and you wait, have wait. nothing to say. You just got old, bro. You just got old, bro. That's right. You're just a fucking loser. You go up to cops. Again. Again. Wait, 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 wait. again, for 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 wait, the low wait, IQ wait, lemmings wait, in the room. Wait, wait, wait. Again. I I if won. we don't have a critical wait, 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 mass, we can't wait. have a successful revolution. Uh, again, you're just making excuses. We need a revolution. Let's play on my calculator and see if the bills won. Nah. Oh, we need a violent revolution. Ah, let me play on my calculator like a fruit, like a fruitcake. What a loser. You're sitting there with your big hat calling other, people, calling other people not a man. Calling for a violent revolution. Ooh. Didn't so, your so, Will. Calculator. Uh, again, calculator Will. Calculator boy. Will. Calculator boy. <laughs> <laughs> behind the calculator and calls for violence. Dang, you're a coward. You're a coward, dang, bitch. You're lucky you're not hey, you're right. I think now. this this might be a TKO, man. <laughs> Come oh, to my, my channel God. and I'll tell you I'll tell you how deep Jamatria go. <laughs> Come to my channel and I'll teach you how deep it go. That's why I can't go that deep. Because I can't go that deep. Dude, this is a shorty here. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Citizens this is a shorty bathroom. right here, man. This dude really? right here is a shorty with a Jamatria hoodie on. He's sitting there with a black hood with a black beanie on and a hoodie on like he tough shit. Like he tough guy. Yeah, you can, why do you keep muting me, but not these other sorry ass fucking faggots on your stream? Wow, yeah, right. That's crazy. Crazy. You don't... Let's just hope the word does not slide out of his mouth, because I feel like it's on the tip of his tongue. Yeah, it is. It is. He can say, I can calculate. You, it's, on the, it's on the tip of his tongue. Hey, yeah, right. How come when your children are out with you, they just stand oh, silent and just walk and don't say a word? What's that about? The kids. He, because, they're really, they're really, because they're really respectful and don't talk. Is about that respectful, though? It's kind of weird. This man on the phone, I respect. He, he, he is a good man. He's raised awesome children. They just walk don't around attack quiet, kids. don't say don't anything. You want to attack the don't kids, attack he's attacking the kids, 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 man. Don't attack kids. He's, he's attacking the kids, he's man. And you he's trying kids. to attack Because I'm starting to realize what a man. weirdo yeah right is. Hey, so I just wonder about man. some of these things he's now. Trying, he's trying to attack my kids and shit. I'm trying to attack your kids. I'm asking how they don't say anything. They're going to try to attack children. How can you raise children that just walk around and don't say a word? He's raised awesome children. Like, they don't even want to be there. Yeah. I didn't even think you stooped that listen, low, Zach. Man, now you're going to attack children, Zach? No, because I'm actually just children? thinking about the whole thing, children? like how he Zach, brings hey, the listen, kids out. Zach don't even got kids, man. Zach, Zach don't even have kids. Uh, this I is what happens. I don't think a woman Wait. wants to lay. I don't think a woman wants to have kids with Zach. <laughs> Uh, hey, didn't you just go through a divorce yet, right? I'm not a drama person. No, I I've didn't. I actually, oh, you didn't just go through it? You're not in court uh, fight, uh, fighting over your family, right? I've I, never I, seen actually, sleep I just got married. You're not in court because your woman left you and, hey, and Zach, took the kids? Zach, Zach, actually Zach. not. Actually, no, yeah, right. right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You're right. That is right, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you no. just went through a divorce <laughs> and, and a woman took the kids out of the house. You see that? That's What's that? I was divorced, right? Uh-huh. Are you married? Did you get remarried? Are you married? Zach, did you move your whole life for the Zach, you're talking all this shit. Did you move your whole life for the five Wait, wait, wait. Will, Will. He, he got, he's not married. He has no kids, right? Where's Mrs. Hubbard? Nobody's ever seen that. How long have you seen her? That's beside the point. I'm asking you. How long, you, uh, how long have you been? How long have you been with Sweet Lady and you haven't put a ring on her finger yet? Get the numbers <laughs> to add up. He's silent. The we've been numbers TKO. don't add up. Another, another TKO. 
you're not married oh. and you've been with sweet lady for how long you want to talk about families and all this uh, stuff? Uh, again why haven't you put a ring on her finger uh, again, all of those questions Why are beside the point. Have not you talked? No, about you just my said, kids not beside the point. Divorced. What are you talking it's, about? It's not beside the point. You Zach has such an ego. Oh, we didn't want to keep feeling up owned by every one of us. So oh, now we start better. attacking. How did you get in one year? Will, right? Will, you used to uh, his family. Listen to sudden, who uses the word owned in their forties? You're such a fucking little kid. Just because you're still the size of a little Zach, kid doesn't you, mean you got to keep talking like one. Will, I talk shit. Zach, your exactly going on people. Hey, look. Hey, hey, This is just this is just insults instead of talking about the the facts at hand of the questions that are being put out here. You went into Okay, uh, again, I asked you something stuff. about why you bring your family out there when they obviously what don't want to be there. They did want to be there. You don't man, my, my well, how family. come that how come you guys all just stand around quiet? Like what is that? Because they maybe didn't feel right. Maybe they didn't feel right around certain situations. They just you want them, they you want them fun. to jump around and, I mean, and yell and scream? Hey guys. It's all about I them feel. understanding the energy that is out here and around. So people. what did you show them as a father about your energy when you went on and did 12 hours of live streams just talking bullshit out they, of your ass because I asked you some simple questions? Because they know they father don't play that shit. And if you ever did that in my face, you'd be staring at the clouds and waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Keep, you real, keep it real. The way you talk to me now, you would never talk to me in my Easy. face, in my Back. person. That Easy. would not happen. And I wouldn't even let it get there. I would just be like, Zach, yo, just have some respect for me. Easy. You know, you they, would never talk listen, like that. They listen, real they is real. They listen, like, you they, live I, way I, up here in the woods. You don't, you ain't not Listen, I, I can't have respect for people who disrespect me. Nobody You disrespected me for no reason. I didn't do anything listen, to you. I asked listen, you some simple I, questions. I, listen, I, Bullshit. We're not even going to talk about the other stuff where you literally said the tip of that Word that word is always on the tip of yeah, my and I explained it about how we're all programmed, so we got the same stuff flowing through. No, us. no, 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 no. I know that is what I said in that video. I don't know. What I you know mean. No, 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 no. People that are white that this that word is never on the tip of their tongue. All right, when they're angry. Hey, hey, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. You can't explain that away, Zach. You no, that's not an explanation. So, Will, you can you, Will, can you turn your here. camera off? No. I'd rather not look your at your ugly <laughs> fucking mug. God hey, damn, talk about no pussy. I don't like to be mean to people either. That's why you <laughs> fuck guys, because no women want to be mean to a I talk shit. Oh you know, my God. Just, you know that you guys did the prediction that I would come in and call you morons. That's because you guys understand that you are morons. Yeah, I, know. I don't like to be mean to people either. He said to you right at the Matrix, oh, you were disrespecting me, da, 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 and I didn't do anything. Bro, Zach had disrespected me on stream multiple times when he... Did, never took the time to say anything behind uh, to my face or call me or anything like that. And I didn't even say shit. It, it, it wasn't until I found out about the racist shit. And then yeah, he, he kept got, you got him on that too. And he, he and I was trying to give him like a, a chance to explain. There, there is no, there is no, you can't explain none of that way. It, it has to be deep coding, right? You're supposed to see things deeper, right? So all you see when you get angry is the outer layer, not the deeper layer. That's, that's, a, that's a hypocrite. Yeah, fair, fair words, fair words. And he's calling for violence, right? And I loved how Zach had nothing to say when I say, okay, you believe we have to solve this problem with violence. And he said, yeah, we have to solve this problem with violence. So why are you on a calculator? Why are you on a, yeah, why are you on a calculator? Hey, uh, Gemini <laughs> said, didn't Zach crack the code, but then Stacy learned from Manly P. Hall? So which one is it, man? Like, either you the, you the pioneer or you the puppet. Right. <laughs> which one? Yeah. You the you the you the you the, drug, you the you the dope dealer or you the drug addict? <laughs> That's a good point. I didn't even you think about it. Want to take her. <laughs> and again, and again, just a disclaimer. I didn't ask for this. Zach oh, came here. You know, Zach came over here. And then I just had to meet with my accountant. And then they let me know that the last nine days when I talked to him, which was on Thursday, they said last nine days, man, which was the last two weeks for them too. Same thing as Sweet Lady. They said their system just kept going down. And then um, I, I am talking to my financial advisor guy too. And he said that their system's been going in and out a lot lately. Like, you just start talking to everybody, you're like, wait, this is more than just sweet lady. It's more than just my accountant, my financial advisor, too? This is weird. So a few weeks back, Zach talked about how he recently bought a family business with his dad. Now he's made it known that he has a financial advisor. This guy is openly flaunting to his viewers that he has a ton of money yet continues to pretend that he can't afford to hire anyone. Again, anyone not seeing through this has their head firmly up their ass. I'll tell you what, though, if this per month thing gets up to something like $10,000 a month, I'll hire a couple people. You know, then I can afford to have some employees. I'll, I'll hire Jonathan, you know. Right now, there's 10787 coming in a month. That's more than I need for myself. That's why I'm paying $1,000 a month for a website. That's why I'm saving the rest of the money for a future cause. 
like getting a building and renovating it and being able to have the resources to put in the furniture that we can have to set up a you know gematria effect news studio this money is for the cause if this money goes up to thirty thousand i'm telling you guys it's going to happen overnight we're going to have the building we're going to have people hired it's going to make a huge difference we can do a lot with thirty thousand a month but i am saying we hit thirty thousand things will happen things will happen and they'll happen fast and you'll see it i'm transparent i i am talking to my financial advisor guy too looks like he's scamming with the fundraisers uh, i'm gonna tell you guys some some things that, that that i've got planning upcoming you know we've had goals for a long time and it's been hard to get there bullshit um i have my dad getting on board with uh helping me out with, with ideas i have for this movement and i'll keep you posted on how that goes but yeah, we gotta find ways to get the resources to do things bigger now while we still can. And he needs money. <laughs> he always needs money. Sorry to everyone who supports the work for just sports stuff. Obviously not doing as well at sports as historically we have, but still the knowledge is invaluable. And uh, if you're selective, you're still doing well enough. But I mean, you guys see how twisted and bullshit this is? It's about the only thing I could say I wish was going better for this Gematria work right now understand the work better than ever but they've made the sports games harder than ever to call and again that's because what we've been exposing for a decade and taking advantage of still doing all right right this is who leads us now this guy sees zachary k hubbard's on the thumbnail what's up with that oh yeah i was thinking of uh making him look like a fucking idiot tonight <laughs> <laughs> let's listen to zach pick some football games for uh week seven the last time the Lions were 6-1 was 1956. You know what's interesting about that then? Tomorrow's games are 56 days before the Pope's birthday. I, 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 think, I think that's probably the top narrative. I think I got to flip this one around. Now that, now that we got the 1956 thing, 56 days before the Pope's birthday, I think that's the top narrative. I got to flip it around. I think, I think that that's the more interesting narrative now. She picked the Lions because of the Pope's birthday. <laughs> now he gets to do mental gymnastics for why the Pope's birthday didn't work out. I'm Zachary K. Hubbard. I, I get every pick right all of the time. I've never been wrong about anything. And let me tell you about the Pope's birthday. <clears throat> now what? Oh, I think they saw my video about the Pope's birthday, and then they changed it. <laughs> That's what happened, you guys. I think they fucking saw my Pope's birthday prediction, and then they flip-flopped it. I should, I would have got it right. You, you literally have to solve a riddle to understand what this man is even trying to tell you to pick. He's not making a pick, you guys. Like, Sports Gematria had to solve a riddle to even figure out who he was trying to go with there. The same morons, I always like, Zach doesn't give out real picks. It's like, okay, did you look at the game where it said, if this happens, this happens, this happens, like five different things lined up if that team won? But how would you interpret that? Do you need me to also write out the sentence? Hey, pick this one. <laughs> God, the trolls probably need that because they're pathetic morons. But so if you pay for picks here's what you get if green bay wins this that and the other if denver wins this that and the other and then you have to be the one who decides if and what who you're gonna pick so the dude won't even like make an actual pick a lot of the times he'll just kind of lean one way and leave you to be the guy who figures that out i've never done that Never once on any of my picks have I ever waffled back and forth and made it confusing. I would argue that Zach's picking is confusing, and it would be really easy to not understand who he's even picking. Yeah, fair, fair words. Fair words. Sports Gematria here, he covers his ass both ways. He'll say, if this team blah blah blah, if this team blah blah blah, and then, of course, the team wins, and then he says, congrats to the winners. I had that team all along. I told you, if blah blah blah. Let me show Zachary how to make a football pick and how to make it clear and concise without anyone getting confused. 
Detroit's been covering tons of spreads. Uh, Baltimore, a three-point favorite. Detroit, five and one against the spread, five and one overall. Uh, they've just been covering so many spreads. I think this is the week where the public has finally jumped on board. And the numbers I've looked at on the different websites suggest that this is the week that the public's on board with the Lions. Everyone's finally taking the Lions seriously. So I think this is the week where I'm going to go ahead and go the other way. And I'm going to take Baltimore to win and cover the three points. Went 11 and two that week. So I could keep the videos playing. And you hear the difference in the way we pick those games. No one can say I made it confusing. No one can say I made a case for both teams. No one can say I lied or changed a pick. I pick every single game against the spread and money lines. I have two columns, my money line picks and my spread picks. And I keep track of both records and I post both records. Zach doesn't post his records. It's because that's terrible. I give away my picks for free. Zach charges for his riddles, which lose. People have come here and used that man's name in a positive light or tried to say that me and him are somehow similar. No, I am the opposite of Zachary K. Hubbard. I am the antithesis, antithesis of this man. I give away winning picks for free. I pick every damn game across the board. I don't cherry pick. And at the end of the day, I'm not lying and scamming anyone. And thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Take care. I'm glad he can still appreciate me right now. Ooh, these NFL weeks, man, they've been turning my hairs gray. <laughs> <laughs> Got the biggest gray hair in my sideburns I've ever had. Oh my goodness. We're having a tough season. We're having our toughest season ever. Yeah, because of you. And a big part of the reason why is because just things that have been really good for us historically, they haven't been as consistent this year. Like Houston 31 has burned us three times out of four, and we're not used to that, so. Excuses all day. This season literally is from hell. Like, consistent patterns are not hitting. And Stop crying, you bitch! So yeah, uh, uh, again, for, for now, Sundays, for the most part, we've had one good Sunday this year, a bunch of mediocre Sundays, some bad Sundays. Until things clear up, and hopefully they do, I, I'd be super cautious on Sunday with the NFL. Thursday's where we're making our money again. Debatable. And Monday's been tough too this year. Yeah, on my end, you guys, I, I'm, I'm super annoyed because I'm putting in more time than ever this year and getting worse results than ever, and I'm having to look at more categories than I've ever looked at before. Historically, it's in the quarterbacks. The quarterbacks are where you find your winners and losers historically. And this year, there's just not a lot to go off of the, the way they've lined it up with the QBs, and instead we're looking at franchise records, and, and it's not working. No shit. Historically, that's how I picked them, but, but this year... The formula is definitely not working out as well. So that's what's driving me nuts. We know how rigged it is more than ever and having the worst season ever. It's like, how's this even possible? Because you're the one making the picks, that's how it's possible. Uh, Hoyer's not the quarterback for the Bears this week. He was last week when they won. Last week we had him in the narrative to win. He's retarded, Lois. They're not doing Hoyer this week and they're doing Tyson Bay. I mean, like, and what kind of coaching is that? If you get a win with a quarterback, why would you put in a different quarterback the next week? Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, I want to correct you on something with uh, Brian Hoyer. He's on the Raiders rather than uh, on the Bears. So on the Who was the Bears quarterback last week? Tyson Badgett, something like that. Or maybe... Uh, 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 Hoyer won last week, right? I was thinking that it was the Bears game. Was it the Raiders playing the Bears? Yeah. All right, that's why I was thinking that. That's why I was thinking that he beat the Bears last week. Retarded. Uh, Hoyer's on the Raiders. Hoyer had a good riddle to win last week, and he did. For some reason, I was thinking he was on the Bears. Okay, he's on the Raiders. Yeah. Are these people fucking retarded? It, 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 I know they are. I mean, I'm asking rhetorical questions. Hoyer lost last week? Hold on. I got to go back and look at what I wrote last week. I got all dyslexic with this game. Hold on. I see my write-up for last week's game was dyslexic because I had the Bears, why the Bears could win, but then also Hoyer on their side, and I'm going with my old brain where Hoyer used to play on the Bears. Duh, I'm stupid! <laughs> my bad.
Hoyer used to be on the Bears a long time ago. And you're and you're making videos with these bullshit calculations about how much money you would you look how much money you would have lost if you went with Zach's picks last week. time I ever did a price hike but to me it, you know even if it's still a bargain rate I mean if you look into how much work I put in each month and how much decoding it is I mean you're getting a killer deal at both prices of course eighth time's a charm So again, just weighing it in the scales format, Mayfield can get his 35th regular season win. This is the narrative for the Bucks to upset. Mayfield can get his 35th regular season win. Allen can stay on 35 all-time wins, and the Bills can make home teams 3-5 and five on TNF for the year if they are upset. Furthermore, Allen can get this, his 13th regular season home loss, TNF 13, and the Bills can get the 13th home loss in primetime this year. If that happens, McDermott will stay on 66 wins on the day leaving 66 days in the year. And then the additional part is just, again, they're an eight and a half point dog. A conservative play would be to take them with the points. That way, if they lose by eight or less, you still win the game. The Vikings and Packers game. This one seems to be a little bit more disproportionate in terms of how the, the scales are weighted. If the Vikings win, they're 4-4. Four four. Vikings and Packers are 44. The Vikings can also pick up their 28th road win versus the NFC North. Packers is 28. And Cousins can get his 77th win. Green Bay 77. So it does look like there's more weight there for a Vikings win. The, the Patriots have been an illusion all year. Uh, looking at this, it looks like they have a decent narrative to upset. Uh, Mac Jones can pick up his 19th win on the 19th date numerology again in Week 8, where 19 is the 8th prime. He can also improve to 11 and 8 away in the regular season and 11 and 9 away all time. Patriots is 118. Dolphins is 119. If that happens, the Dolphins would fall to 5 and 3, where Patriots is 53. So it has big value if that happens. Um, the Dolphins don't have a lot in terms of the numbers. They, I mean, it looks like the Patriots have a decent narrative to upset. Um, but yeah, they're just Bill Belichick. I mean, he's been killing me all year. The, the, I've done horrible with the Patriots games this year. You know what, you guys? This is not a false statement. I could wipe my ass with the name Nostradamus. Literally. Literally. The Jaguars and Steelers game, in terms of the number narratives, this actually looks like one of the stronger narratives of the week. The Steelers can fall to 6-6 six and six at home versus the Jags in the regular season. Jacksonville Jaguars 66. Jaguars can pick up their 19th win versus the AFC North on the 19-8 numerology again in Week 8. And Lawrence can get his 19th career win as well. Jaguars can also pick up their 82nd all-time road win on the 82 date numerology. And if that happens, Pickett will get his 8th loss in his 19th game. Again, 19 is the 8th prime. Um, Peterson can also stay on 50 losses, and he can get his 60-second win on the 62-date numerology. And if the Jags win, the Steelers would fall to 4-3, and three, where Jacksonville's 43. So th it does feel that there's more weight on that side. <laughs> the Eagles and the Chiefs, I was wondering if they might win their next two games, because if they both win their next two games, then they're both 8-1, and one, and they'll play each other both 8-1 and one on Biden's 81st birthday. And, of course, Joe Biden in 81 has been big because President Biden's 81. He's from Pennsylvania originally and supposedly got 81 million votes. And he's from Scranton that goes through Interstate 81. So do the Eagles and Chiefs both win the next two to be 8-1 and one and face off on November 20th? Again, Biden's 81st birthday. Uh, looking at this game... Again, I have the sentence about the 81 thing, and then I said, in this game, the Eagles can also get their 91st regular season win versus the NFC East. Washington Commanders is 91, and Ron Rivera can stay on 101 wins. Philadelphia 101, 
And again, it would set up that narrative for eight and one on Biden's birthday. Uh, the Texans and Panthers. Uh, the Texans can get their 111th regular season loss and 115th all-time road loss. Again, Black Panthers 111, Panthers is 115. The Panthers can stay on 112 all-time home losses. Houston's 112. Look at this story, you guys. These, get, these guys played against each other when they were eighth graders, and now they face each other in week eight. Okay, but yeah, that does, that does make me want to upgrade the Panthers narrative, and now I kind of see the rhyme and reason of the 2-1-3 since they both grew up in the Los Angeles area playing football. Okay, well, I, I like this stat about how Bryce Young beat him in eighth grade, and they've been playing each other since all the way back then. So, all right, let, let's go Panthers. The, uh, the, the Chiefs and the Broncos game, if the Chiefs win the next two, they will be 8-1 and one like the Eagles. In this game, Mahomes can pick up his 71st win and 38th road win. Denver Broncos, 71. Colorado, 38. He can also get his 82nd all-time win on the 82-date numerology. If that happens, the Chiefs will win their 17th straight, I should say, game versus the Broncos. The Broncos will also get their 29th home loss versus the Chiefs on the 29th. I can really see the Chiefs and, and Eagles playing on Biden's birthday, both 8-1, and one, and he turns 81 that day. How about shut the fuck up, morons? I'm not wrong about anything. The Bengals and the 49ers. The, the most consistent number I see on the board in this game is just Cincinnati and 51 plays a lot. And if Kyle Shanahan does win this game, he'll stay on 51 all-time losses. Zach Taylor can get his 42nd all-time loss, which is a 49ers number. So that's what jumps up the most to me in that game. If Burrow does lose, he'll stay on 15 road wins as well. But yeah, the 51 is seems like more often than not when that's on the board with Cincinnati, that's what plays. Yeah, looking at the coaches, it aligns on both sides if the Niners prevail in this game. Another wrong prediction. People want to focus on the things where I've been wrong, you know? Why? So the way I, I wrote the scales, prior to the week, it, the way this was written up prior to today is it looked like there was a little bit more weight on the Detroit side initially. But now looking at the full week in the season, now the weight has shifted to the Raiders side <laughs> again. My, my first reads have been pretty good this year, but sometimes it has helped us by looking at the season count. A lot of times this year where I've gone against the first read, I've regretted it. So with that out there, again, the, the way, it, it, had we not made a conclusion until now, I think this is the way I would still would have wrote it up today. To read it out loud, Jimmy G can pick up his 44th win and 24th road win, Detroit 44, Lions 24, and the Raiders would improve to 4-4. Four and four. The Raiders can also improve to 8-6 and six versus the Lions, Las Vegas 86. They would get 8th win in Week 8. If that happens, home teams will stay on 64 wins for the year. Michigan equals 64, which has a square root of 8 for Week 8. And road teams will get their 58th win. That would be by the Raiders, who are hosting Super Bowl 58. Home teams would also fall to 8-8 eight eight for NFL Week 8. You can always take them with the points as well. If Lions do not cover the spread, they will fall to 5-3 ATS. They face LA next. Los Angeles 53. Raiders ATS record this year. They're 3-4, so if they covered, they'd be 4-4. Four four. Detroit is 44. Okay, but that, that's, a, that's a little bit extra encouragement if you wanted to take the points. It, it makes sense on both sides. I, I'm not a greedy person. I don't say, here, to get my sports picks, you got to pay $500 a month, even though they're worth that. You know, they're worth that. And then he's always doing his false math for how much money you would have lost, which is total BS. Now been going with my picks this season you've been doing just fine you did straight bets on every game i like this year you've hit some big upsets and you've won a lot anybody who says otherwise is a fucking loser and fraud
to retire and you need to shut it down. You've been going with my picks this season. You've been doing just fine. You did straight bets on every game I like this year. You've hit some big upsets and you've won a lot. Anybody who says otherwise is a fucking loser and fraud. He's a bullshitter. He's a scammer. My, my worst year is still better than that person's best year. My, my worst year is still better than that person's best year. Some people are just full of shit at the end of the day. Like, Arthur does this a lot. He ruins his video by saying something that's fundamentally not true. And I'm like, man, that's going to ruin the whole video. Somebody who knows the facts is going to be like, I'm not listening to this guy. What he just said is totally false. Max Scherzer, now of the Texas Rangers, about to get his 117th career road win. And, of course, in Gematria, Arizona Diamondbacks equals 117. So does Major League Baseball. Just a warning, you guys, I am having my worst NFL season ever, but... See, that's, that's too bad. Yeah, too All bad. Right. Two really good Sundays, and you could argue three good Sundays for the year combined, which isn't good through eight NFL weeks. I've had a couple losing weeks this year, and I've had a lot of 50-50 weeks. The NFL's been difficult this year, but... You need to retire, and you need to shut it down. That's all, folks. Till next time, true seeker.